We had the privilege of meeting up once again with Gary Schwartz. Last time we saw him, we were in London eating sushi together. In this interview, Gary shares his views on what he calls self-science. As a professor of medicine and psychology, it's been a long journey to come to the conclusion that we cannot wait for science to validate what each one of us inherently knows, that we must practice our own science in our search for the greater truths. Self-science, well the term self-science actually only occurred to me relatively recently within the past year. Also within the past year I published a book called The G-O-D Experiments, yes. the, the God Experiments, which stands for Guiding, Organizing, Designing Process, with the subtitle How Science is Discovering God and Everything, Including Us. And it turns out that a subset of that book includes experiments which, where I was the subject and because I was, because I'm so scientifically trained and scientifically minded, as I began to discover anomalies or try to experiment with things in my own personal life, and then I would be, quote, hit with evidence that I could not dismiss, mm -hmm. I began to realize that I, that there was this process of when you apply science to yourself, that you can make certain discoveries which may be inconsistent with the way in which you've been educated. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> and not only that, I was actually beginning to meet people, in fact, I had been for some time, where they were um, also on their paths, mm -hmm. uh, where they, and whether they were physicians or psychologists or physicists or um, artists or even one gentleman who, who I actually describe in the God Experiments books who was a, an office cleaner they would be making discoveries and then keeping track of the data and following the evidence where it took them, ultimately reaching them to conclusions that was inconsistent with the way in which they were raised, but which they knew from the actual evidence and the repeated evidence was true. And then they went through their own personal transformation, which led them on the path that they were on. And I was experiencing that myself in spades. What he's referring to is an extraordinary tale about the synchronistic events in his life involving ravens. For the full interview, go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.